Hey YouTube, how's it going? Yesterday was a hard day, so I didn't make this video because I wanted to remember this day as happy and celebratory, and I didn't really get to do that because I wasn't really feeling it. <coughs> Excuse me. So, today, well, yesterday, July 26th, was one year post-op from top surgery. And I can't believe it, honestly. I just passed my eighth month mark for my revision, and it just feels kind of sometimes like yesterday, and other times it feels like it's always been that way, which is just how I know that it was always meant to be that way. And um, this is what I'm looking like now. I haven't been in the gym in a couple weeks because I've been working constantly, but, you know, so I'm not as, like, buff looking. <laughs> At the top, not that I really want to get buff, but, you know, it'd be nice to have a, a sculpted chest. But, yeah, my scars are looking awesome. This one is the side that had a little infection, so it's about two months behind this one. Um, but, you know, this is also redone for my revision, which has only been eight months post-op, so it's, you know, I'm okay with the fact that it's a little pink right now. It's not irritated. But it gets better every day. They're very soft because I use vitamin E cream and do massages after the shower. And I wear sunscreen and I don't go topless. So I'm really excited to finally be able to just, like, go topless because... <clears throat> Excuse me. Because I... I mean, why wouldn't I want to do that? I've wanted to do that my whole life. You know, I just want to be able to be free and be myself. Like, everyone else's... It, I look like the odd one out when I'm wearing my shirt around, you know. Um, and also, I live in L.A. now, and it's freaking hot. <laughs> so, it's the summer. And, you know, I want to be able to go to the pool and... If I want to take my shirt off, I don't want to have to, like, think about it. But I'm almost there at that point, so I'm really excited. And, you know, I I will always remember this as the best day of my life to, to that day point, even to now. I would say best day of my life, hands down. Um... I knew that my one year was coming up, I think I've mentioned it in a video prior to this, but actually, like, three nights ago, I wasn't even, like, processing what day it was, because I was just so tired from work, so then finally, like, the day comes, and I open Facebook, and there's that picture of me in the scrub gown before I go into surgery, and I'm just, like, so happy, you can just tell... And even just my face, I look so different. It's wild. But that's how I was reminded that it was my one year. So I guess it's just become really normal for me. Um, I feel like after surgery, it's kind of like weird for a while because you're getting used to your body. And I know that can sound like weird or ridiculous, especially if you're not intending on having surgery or having dysphoria somewhere or you're cisgender. But like... It's just because you want it doesn't mean that it's going to feel like right, right away. Um, there's just like, there's a very big adrenaline rush, like a lot of hormones. And then everything kind of like drops after because you're like, you're on almost like a, an emotional high. And then suddenly it's gone and you're like, okay, well I did. I worked so hard to get to this moment, and now I'm here, like, what's next? So, basically, yeah, I'm one year post-op. Thank you to everyone who has helped me to make that come true, whether you took care of me or whether you donated for, um, you know, covering the some of the expenses that insurance wasn't covering. I, whether you just like gave me support from afar, it really means a lot to me that you've come along with me on this journey. I It's not something that I feel I could do alone. It's very hard. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart, and I'll see you in the next video.